I'm uh, Creighton Wilson. I work with May Heavy Equipment, National Equipment Dealers. And today we're on a job site with Fowler Corporation in Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, they are demoing a Dynapack CA2500 PD seismic unit. This is a dedicated pad foot unit. Um, the seismic technology is a new thing. It is proprietary to Dynapack right now. So what this does, there are two systems going on that factor into compaction. You have a soil system and you have your vibration system. And this is the connection between those two. So in soil, there's an optimal frequency for different types of soils. Clays, sands have different frequencies that they need for optimal compaction. What the seismic unit does is it measures that optimal frequency and gives that as the output in the vibration system. So it automatically varies your frequency. Some rollers, you can change your frequency and vary your frequency, but you have to know the particular type of soil you're in and you have to have a good feel for it. So this automatically does that, it takes it over, it takes the guesswork out of it, um, gives less passes, you're burning less fuel. Um, so overall, it's a more productive machine, um, less time, less money. So for the controls, um, it's pretty simple. For the most part, there's only one button on the joystick you need to know, and that is the red button. That's your on off for the vibration. These other three buttons are for a blade. If you have a blade attached, that's gonna be a float, and that's gonna be up down for your blade. So these aren't used, just use this. Um, that's for your on off and your vibration. Um, this joystick can be set in particular positions. It's not gonna jump back. You don't have to hold it forward or hold it in reverse. And you can use your throttle right here to control your speed. So it's almost like a cruise control. So this throttle knob right here, you can control your speed and just leave your lever in whatever position you want it in. Helps reduce operator fatigue. Um, over here, you have your low, eco, and high, basically your idles. Um, we recommend just to leave that in eco. Over here, you have a selector button. This is gonna run through different differential modes. Um, so if it's gonna go from drum drive to rear tire drive, um, to a working mode, and then to a rabbit, like a transport mode, if you need to go a little bit faster. Um, so if you feel, you feel your front drum slipping or your rear tire slipping, you'll just cycle through here and you'll find the picture of tires or your drum, select that, and you'll have drum drive or rear tire drive. Um, in addition to that, there is also traction control, which is automatically controlled. Um, nothing you need to do there. So the next button, you're gonna have to press that and turn the vibration on. Uh, anything on the machine, past turning it on, you're gonna have to use that button. The next button right here, you really don't need to know anything about this button besides this is for your manual frequency control. So if you have manual frequency, frequency control on, your seismic is not gonna be on because your seismic automatically controls your frequency. So if you did wanna control it manually, you would turn that on and then plus or minus for your frequency. Now, in addition to frequency, this does have variable amplitudes. For the most part, low amplitude is where you need to be in the majority of your jobs. Um, clays, heavy silts, that's where you're gonna want low amplitude. To turn high amplitude on, the vibration system does have to be off. So this, all this does is turn on your high amplitude when you need that. Um, do have your working lights right here, horn, and then this is an automatic vibration control. What that does is when you come to a stop, your drum's not gonna bounce on the ground. So anything below, I think it's three miles an hour, your vibration's gonna automatically turn off. Um, just helps the operator when you go to stop, you're not bouncing on the ground. Now, park brakes right here, beacon lights right here as well. And for the most part, that's about it. This is a roller, so it's meant to be somewhat simple. So to engage the seismic, it's right now it's gonna be on when you turn the machine on. You're gonna have uh, a symbol in the right hand column here that's gonna look like a drum with little circles below it, uh, the seismic symbol. That's how you know the seismic is on. Now to know the seismic is working, over in the left hand part of this screen, you'll see a Hertz, which is your frequency. So in an uncompact soil, you're probably gonna be somewhere around 30, 33 Hertz. You'll see that number start dropping as you roll. Eventually that number is going to plane out somewhere around 20 and it's going to stop. Once it stops at 22, 20, you're going to know that lift is done and you're ready to go to the next lift. 
So after your first lift, you know you're going to 22, you're gonna look for that on your next lift. The second it hits 22, you know it's compact, you don't have to keep going. And if the material changes, you're gonna to have to make sure that the Hertz doesn't go down past that 22. But as long as you're in the same type of material, you're just gonna set that one reference point wherever it is and look for that each time. Um, takes the guesswork out of it. All right, so on here, that's gonna be the seismic symbol. That, that designates that the seismic system is on. As I mentioned, there's manual, so if you press manual on here, the seismic goes off. Press the manual, it turns back on. Now, just you gotta flip the parking brake off, push the work button, and you'll see the work guy come up here. This lets you know that you're on low amplitude as well. Now, if you turn on ABC, your automatic vibration control, you'll see ABC come on in this column. So this column will tell you all the different functions that are engaged at any particular time. We're gonna take ABC off for right now. Now the different modes I was telling you about with the, uh, the drive system, you can see there's the turtle right there in the center of the screen. If I cycle through, there's a picture of a tire, there's a picture of a drum, and there's a picture of a rabbit. So the rabbit's gonna be your transport mode going across the job site. You can go about 12 and a half miles an hour. If you feel your drum slipping, you're gonna to wanna to cycle to the drum. It's gonna give you drum drive. If you feel your tire slipping, you're gonna to to cycle to the tires. That'll give you your rear tire drive. Normal working mode, you wanna be in the turtle. So if the traction control happens to turn on, like I said, that's an automatic thing. You'll see TC come on in the center where the turtle is. So you'll know when your traction control is engaged by looking at it there in the center. The next thing for the seismic, as you'll see right here, it says zero hertz on the screen. When you turn the vibration on, that number will go up probably somewhere in the 30s if you're in uncompacted soil, and then you'll see it slowly start going down, and you'll set that as your reference point from there on. Thanks for being with us here today, and if you would like to get a quote or a demo on one of our Dynapack seismic units, please visit us at mayequip.com.